Hey everyone, welcome back to RC News. Thanks for stopping by, I really appreciate it. Got some new things to show you in the RC world, so let's get into it. Cross RC's come out with a new scale military truck called the AC6. It's really nice, super detailed. Uh, it's just another addition to their military lineup. If you've never seen them before, go check it out on their website. They've got some really nice military trucks amongst other things. But as you can see here, there's tons of detail. The door's open, it's got a nice engine bay, uh, spare tire set up there. Looks like it might be leaf springs as well, which obviously if it's scale. So yeah, uh, Cross RC, super nice stuff. That little box in the back looks super cool. And yeah, you can put a cover on. Not sure if that's an accessory. All I can really find is these photos on Facebook, which were the best photos off the website. Uh, for some reason, I couldn't locate it on the website. But anyway, this is the AC6 from Cross RC, and it's looking good. And Reefs has come out with their own BEC. Uh, they've called it the Easy BEC. Uh, you run 3S LiPo and it will supply your high powered servo with 8.4 volts. And you can run anywhere from 2 to 6S. Obviously, in order to get that 8.4 volts, you will have to run a 3S LiPo. Uh, it utilizes this handy little adapter that you can connect to your battery via XT60 and then connect it to these little connectors here. So pretty nice all together. It's an aluminum case, so keep it nice and cool. And yeah, no soldering involved, just plug and play, which is kind of nice. Another piece of jewelry for an associated B7. It works on a lot of different associated buggies and drag cars. Essentially, it's a four piece ball stud set made out of titanium. Uh, they're super nice, really. Uh, you can throw them on the front bulkhead. They come in this kind of smoke gray, black look. Uh, really nice. Titanium's super strong, too, so buy once and you probably won't break it. Anyway, check those out. It looks like $21.25 for four. And that's kind of pricey, but if you've got everything on your buggy and you're looking for a little something extra, you know, maybe check these guys out. I am super stoked about these little guys associated entering the 127th scale world. So, you know, something like a Mini Z or the GL Racing, something that would race on an RCP track. And I'm really excited because the chassis design on this is pretty cool. It's a two wheel drive chassis. It's similar to like, you know, like a, a 12 scale design where you have one mono shock in the rear. And yeah, the Datsun body coming in various colors. It looks really nice. And it looks like they redesigned the whole chassis. I could see companies definitely coming up with mods for this. And I'm happy to see another car that you could throw on an RCP track and maybe keep up to the Mini Z's. Obviously not the same scale detailing as a Mini Z, but pretty neat. The rear design here looks like it's got a protective cover for the motor and a lot of traction with the motor hanging off like that. And I haven't seen anything in terms of the size of the, the wheels or anything like that, but it looks like a really nice little design. And I cannot wait to try one of these out. I'm definitely going to order one and, and uh, yeah, take it down to the local Mini Z track. So yeah, super excited. 140 bucks American. Can't go wrong, really. Check out this car stand from Clinic RC. It folds, which is really nice. I actually don't even use a stand at races. It's pretty funny. I'm one of those guys that uses like a box that had an ESC in it and it has parts in it still. But this stand, uh, being that it's so tiny and will fit in your, your box super easy, it can hold your shocks while they're airing out, can hold your diffs while you're rebuilding them. It's just kind of one of those good do-all tools that doesn't take up much room. Honestly, some of those repair stands are so huge with their ball bearing spinning base. This is super small folded up as you can see. Uh, 35 bucks from Clinic. I think I might get one, honestly. It's, it's about time I had a stand. Last up for the crawler world, Endura came out with a couple new colors for the um, IR60 hard body for the TRX 
4M. Yeah, so just a couple new colors, the purple, the green, and of course they still have the original colors available. I think it's a nice addition to the colors that are available. I kind of like these better than the older ones, uh, especially that green with the black body. I think it looks pretty cool. So if you don't want to paint it, you can always still weather it and stuff, but yeah, nice addition. Uh, if you're looking to spice up your TRX 4M, check these guys out. I I think I might want to upgrade mine a little bit. I, I got one when they first came out. I've got the Range Rover. And yeah, I just wouldn't mind kind of doing it up a little bit. So yeah, these bodies look great. So that is the RC News. Thanks for stopping by, everyone. And you can enjoy a bit of a sunset from Tofino, BC, Canada. <laughs>